News 18, weather from where you live. Boy, this cool weather is a shock to the system, mainly because it's been so warm recently. We strung together eight consecutive days in the 80s in West Lafayette with a peak of 87 on May 19th, and today's high only 63, and that was early in the day. Now, those eight consecutive days of 80s, that's the longest stretch in May since 2010, and before that, it was the longest stretch since an eight-day stretch in 1998. Now, tonight, the clouds are pushing out of here. The back edge of the cloud cover now moving through Chicago, approaching our area from the northwest. So any showers have pulled away, and also the skies will clear. Now, normally you think, Chad, it's a clearing sky. We're going to get frost. Well, tonight, the wind will stay cranked up. So I don't expect frost. I don't expect temperatures dropping well down into the 30s. We're going to be generally upper 30s to low 40s, 46 a.m., Average low is 53 for this time of year. This warm front is going to play a big role in our holiday forecast. Cool now, strong warm front to our west with severe weather in Texas, severe weather along that dry line too, separates kind of humid air from the really dry desert air. Bottom line is the warm front's going to lift northeastward, and there will be some showers and thunderstorms along that warm front, and it is getting in here a little sooner, so it does look like we may have to deal with a little bit of rain on Sunday in places and a little bit on Monday. Blackberry winter has set in, also called locust winter. When all that stuff blooms, locusts, black locusts and blackberries, you normally get this little period of colder weather. We've got two cold nights on the way, but that strong warm front will come through with some scattered showers and storms, and it will usher in hot, humid weather, hottest weather so far this season, and eventually a severe weather threat will come in next Saturday, not this Saturday, the next Saturday. Tonight, 38 Rensselaer, 39 Monticello, Wolcott, Brookston, and Chalmers, 39 Burlington, and 40 Lafayette, 41 at Romney and Linden. Tomorrow, about 65 to 70, a nice, bright, mostly sunny day. Saturday, more clouds, but temperatures will be about the same, 65 to 70. Low clouds push out tonight. It's a clear sky early tomorrow morning. Now, there's 1130 in the morning, and there's two. Notice hardly any cloud cover at all, so a nice bright end of the week. There is 430. You notice still a lot of sunshine tomorrow evening, but notice the milkiness on the screen. Those are high cirrus clouds, about 720 in the morning Saturday, and this is about noon on Saturday, kind of a partly to mostly cloudy sky, but notice the showers to our southwest. That's the warm front, and that's what will end up heading our way, and that's what's going to bring the hot weather next week. Severe weather threat stays northwest of us for a while, but eventually by next Saturday, we will be in the midst of a severe weather threat. Seven day forecast. There's the warm front coming through Sunday, Monday with a few scattered showers and storms. 87 though Tuesday and 90 by Thursday as the hot air comes in. What a change. 40 tonight to 90 late next week. Yeah, and 40 is going to feel pretty darn chilly tonight, <laughs> isn't it? And there'll be a breeze still. So tomorrow morning, ugh. A coat. Oh, yeah, you'll need a coat in the morning. All right, Chad. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, sure. Boy, yeah. tough loss for the Pacers. I was watching and hiding my face, and it was yeah. tough. If we're neutral, this was a fun game, but we're not neutral.